Hey guys and welcome to another blog spotlight. In this spotlight I'm going to take a look at the reactant dynamo from thermal expansion tree. Now before we get to that let's have a look at its crafting recipe. Now the reactant dynamo is crafted with some redstone, some tinker's alloy ingots or bronze ingots from other mods. We also have tinker's alloy gears or bronze gears from other mods and at the top we have a redstone transmission coil. Now the Tinker's Alloy Gears here are, ma <laughs> Sorry, are made using a, an iron ingot in the center and that's surrounded with either bronze ingots or again the Tinker's Alloy Ingots. Then we have the Transmission Coil here which is made using a silver ingot with some redstone at the ends. Alright, so the Reactant Dynamo is a means of generating power in Terminal Expansion 3. Thermal Expansion 3 uh, is the version of Thermal Expansion which got rid of the Buildcraft uh, Minecraft jewels uh, which were used as power before and introduced its own type of power called Redstone Flux. So these reactant dynamos generate the Redstone Flux power. Alright, now there are several types of dynamos in Thermal Expansion 3 but what the reactant dynamo does is it takes a uh, well a, a fluid fuel which is stored uh, can be stored in the internal buffer right here you can also pump it in directly of course and but yeah so it's it always gets stored in the internal buffer uh, it ha can get four uh, buckets of fuel in there and you need uh, some sort of reactant to react with this fuel and generate the power now it took me a while to figure out which uh, fuel and items go in here but I finally did it so let's have a look. Basically what you need is some of this energized uh, glowstone. You can pour that in there so that's the fuel for this uh, dynamo energized glowstone and you need the reactant to work with that so it took me quite a while to figure out which it was and there might be more but what I found is that gunpowder works so you can put some gunpowder in there and it will start working and when we look at uh, at the uh, display here it will show you that it's producing 80 redstone flux per tick so our uh, energy cell is charging at a rate of 80 redstone flux per tick so it's going through this redstone energy conduit but of course you can also place the uh, the reactant dynamo uh, next to the energy cell directly so uh, that's that's something you can do as well now um the uh, the reactant dynamo generates power like this and you can also turn it off uh, if you disable uh, well if you send in the redstone signal when it's set uh, when the redstone control is set to low now if you set it to high it will only work when it's receiving a redstone signal and uh, when we set it to ignored here it will only well it will always work essentially so uh, right now it's yeah it's working so that's that's basically it for the redstone control here we still have the uh, nice uh, well <laughs> the power output maximum power and the internal energy so it's got a buffer of 40,000 uh, redstone flux internally but we are sending the power straight into this energy conduit so it's never being stored in the internal buffer all right finally you can remove this block uh, using a crescent hammer by holding shift and right clicking it like that you can place it back for example right next to our resonant energy cell and uh, place our gunpowder in there and some energized glowstone and there we go it's running again now before we go I want to uh, show you how to make the energized glowstone and this is basically and very simply by placing a glowstone block or some glowstone dust inside of a magma crucible and this will just convert that into a liquid which is energized glowstone which by the way is more of a gas than liquid because it sort of flows up when you place it in the world so yeah sort of more like a gas than liquid or a very weird liquid in a way that doesn't really obey the laws of gravity it also gives you some sort of uh, yeah speed and jump boost effects when you run through it so you can jump a bit higher a bit faster but yeah that's it for the <laughs> the uh, reactant dynamo here i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one